All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles across the globe that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe also and to the few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved with him these last days and I want to say Tawadi Yahawa, Tawadi Yahawa Yabashai for allowing me for another day to be able to minister to the hopeful elect right so we're going to start off on John and Lord willing this will be edifying it's about the new man right can you really really look yourself can we really look ourselves in the mirrors and say well what changed one new man new woman can you really do that and guess what that takes self-examination so we're going to start at John 3 right there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus and a ruler of the Jews right so Nicodemus he was a ruler of the Jews and he was what a Pharisee the same came to Yahabashai by a night verbatim it says Jesus and said unto him Rabbi we know that art a teacher come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the Most High be with him. So again, Nicodemus acknowledged Yahweh to be what the Messiah, right? And the miracles he was doing, but the only thing he couldn't what grasp what was being said, right? Yahweh answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. He cannot, so the, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. So key thing in this truth is being born all over again. Everything you were taught, right, has to go out the window, right? Everything you knew you thought, or we think we knew we thought, that has to go out the window, right? All of that. And you have to be taught all over again. Everything. It's like you're being reprogrammed, but we're being reprogrammed what? In righteousness. Everything you were taught, you have to throw that out the window. And you know what that takes? That takes great level of humility and admitting you don't know anything. Right? And it says, excuse me just a minute. He cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. So the only way you're going to be able to see the kingdom of the Most High is by what? Excuse me. Putting off the old man. Right? Putting the old man away. Right? Nicodemus said for him, How can a man be born when he is old? Right? So thinking carnally. Right? And it says, Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? So Nicodemus is thinking, hold on. I'm gonna have to come, I'm gonna have to come back in another lifetime and be reborn. Again, because I'm already old, I'm already born, right? I'm already here, right? He was looking at it in a very, very, very carnal way. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Verse 5, Yehabasha answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Thee, except a man be born of water. Right? So this is a thing of what the water, of the spirit. The water represents what the spirit, the Holy Spirit. Right? The baptism represents the Holy Spirit. And of spirit, so that's the key thing, being born of what? The Holy Spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Right? So that's how you're actually what? Born again. Right? And it keeps on saying you cannot enter unless you're... So it is a very, very, very vital thing. Because only through Yahweh Shai, what? Tapping into your mind right you're going to be born again right and with you being born again that old man it's a fact that old man will perish right you being born again that old man will perish and that's a fact right and it says the wind bloweth where it listeth okay let's go to verse 7 marvel not that I said unto thee Right, key thing, you must be born again. 
So remember what it said, marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Why are you surprised? Huh? No, you have to be born again. Right? It's a must. It's not if, maybe, you have to be. So this word is either going to change you for the good, or it's going to change you for the worse. Right? And it says, The wind bloweth where it listeth, and our hair is the sound thereof. But could not tell whence it cometh and whether it goeth. So that's how the wind is. The wind's blowing in all different directions, but you cannot tell when it comes, where it goes. And that's how it is with the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you'd be feeling more animated, more amped up. Other times it's less. Okay. That's how the Holy Spirit is. Right? Sometimes you feel a bit, you know, when you do a lesson, sometimes you feel a bit dry in the spirit. Other times, like you could just pull out precepts. That's the Holy Spirit. Other times, a certain brother may be more amplified in the spirit sometimes he may be less because the spirit is like the wind the holy spirit is like the wind right and it says whither he goeth so is everyone that is born of the spirit so everyone that is born of the spirit of yahweh yeah they're unpredictable because this holy spirit is unpredictable one minute is here the next minute is gone that's how it works right and this our motivation and it says the wind bloweth where it listeth, and I hear is the sound thereof. So you hear the sound of the wind, but cannot tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. All right? Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Yahabashah answered. <laughs> so Nicodemus still could not get it. Yahabashah answered and said unto him, Are thou a master of Israel? All right? And no, it's not these things. So hold on, you're a master. You're supposed to be a master in the law. And you can't even stand the basic and simplest of things. Right? Verily I say unto thee, we speak that we do know. Right? And testify which we have seen and you receive not our witness. So, yeah, you have a shower's basic. Get it on him. It's just like we are. We speak what we know. We're not going to speak what we don't know. And what we receive from your highway of a shy. Excuse me, if I've told you earthly things, things that are pertaining, right, to things that are pertaining to what? Not some of a higher, higher wavelength, you know, earthly things, right? Earthly, which is what? Terrestrial things. And you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things, right? I can't tell you the, the most, um, extrapolated things if you can't even understand the little things you thinking you have to what come back again in your mother's room how the hell can i teach you other things if you can't even understand being born again what it means to be born again and that's why when you go to corinthians it says um i i could not speak to you as what i could i could only speak to you as what as babes yeah. right yeah. i could only feed you with what milk because the meat would be too much Right? So it's the same, it's the same in this truth. If I've told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of the heavenly things? Right? And no man have ascended up into heaven, but he that came down, right, from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven, which is talking about what Yahweh Shai. Right? So there was a particular way Yahweh Shai was teaching. What was he teaching? You have to be born again. Right? You have to be born again through the Spirit, right? So now let's go to Corinthians. We're going to go to Corinthians 16. And we're going to start at 38. But the Most High giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, right? And every seed his own body, all right? All flesh... Right? All flesh is not the same flesh. Right? Key thing. All flesh is not the same flesh. And I, I was looking for it, but I can't find it. It's in Job. You have the flesh of fish. Right? You have the flesh of what? Man. So that's all different flesh. Right? And it says, all flesh is not the same flesh, but there is... I'm moving too fast, but the most I give it, it's a body as it had pleased him. And every seed, his own body. Right? So everybody has a seed and a seed. What's seed? Sperma. Right? 
and that's where you what get the body right and every seed his own body so every seed every every living organism has a body to it right all flesh is not the same flesh but it is one kind of flesh of men so the flesh of men and the flesh of beasts is different another flesh is of beasts another of fishes and another of birds and I really want to find that scripture I know we're somewhere in Job I know we're somewhere in Job would you bear me just a minute alright I know it is Um, check job 20, 21. Nah, can't find it. See, I try to be as quick sometimes, I try to be as quick as possible. Oh, hold on a bit. Hey, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, nah, this ain't it. This ain't it. It's like, I don't know. It's like I'm getting a bit excited. I know what's in Job where it talks about what happens to the spirit of the animals, it goes back down to the ground, right? And the spirit of what? Man, right, goes up to what? The heavens. Right, I can't find that scripture. Right. But let's go back to where we were. This is 1 Corinthians, uh, right? 1 Corinthians 1, 15 and... Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? 40. There are all what? Celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. Celestial would be what? Spiritual bodies right and we don't have them celestial bodies yet that's going to be what reserved for the elect right and that's what also what we lay before okay so we also have yes celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial the terrestrial that's what bodies we have now right these bodies can decay these bodies were what subject to illness right because we're living in what celestial bodies right but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another so they're different they're not the same right a terrestrial body is subject to what pain hurt sickness the celestial body ain't subject to that at all right and it says there is one glory of the sun and the glory of the moon and these are bodies as well and another glory of the stars, for one star differ from another star in glory. Right? So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. Right? It is raised in incorruption. And that's what's going to happen to the elect. Even though they what? Some of the elect were passed, they're going to be raised up what? Incorruptible. It tells us that in Thessalonians. Right? It says... It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory, it is sown in weakness, it is raised in power through what? Yahweh Shai. It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body, right? Because even the elect, well, we were born into this world with what? The terrestrial, right? But guess what? What, we, what, what do we believe in? What? The immortal, right? And this is why it's about having what? Faith, okay? There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Two bodies. So it is written, the first. And a natural body, remember, was the... What's it? It was the terrestrial, right? The spiritual body would be what the celestial, right? So it is written, the first Adam was made a living soul, right? The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. So yes, the first Adam was made a living soul. Right, and the last animal was made a quickening spit. You have a shy, right? And he was quickened, right? The, after that resurrection, how about that? It was not first, which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward, that which is spiritual. Okay, the first one of the earth, all right, earthy. Okay, the second man of the Lord is from what heaven. And the spiritual man, the elect, they're from heaven. Even though they're in this flesh, they're from heaven. Right? And it says, as the earthy such are, Ray, also that are earthy. Right? 
and as the heavenly such are they also that are what heavenly right as we are born so go guess what you have yes carnal men up on earth and you have spiritual men up on earth you have both right as we have born the image of what the earthly we shall also bear the image of their heavenly right and right now we're bearing the image of the earthly because we're in what mortal flesh but we're going to bear what they're heavenly right and that's part of what the resurrection now this i say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high and this makes things very simple men make the scriptures difficult the scripture says such there's certain men that what wrestle with the scriptures because they're unlearned right so when it says flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of yahweh what does that mean right because this is a corruptible flesh or can a corruptible flesh inherit something that's pure inherit something that's incorrupt the answer is no so therefore you would need to be changed right because corruption ain't coming into the kingdom of heaven you would need to be completely changed all right neither of corruption inherit incorruption all right but i show you a mystery we shall not all sleep so not of the elect are going to what pass away right but we shall all be changed so the elect yes they're going to be what changed right in a moment in a twinkling of an eye so yes the elect will be changed right a twinkling of an eye blinking all right uh, and you got you got you again you got Esau and his agents out here but guess what it really doesn't mean anything right it don't mean anything to me okay baby just a minute satan's gonna do what he has to do remember satan's got minions as well in a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump so at the last trump the elect are going to be changed right for the trumpet right shall sound and the dead shall be raised all right the dead shall be raised in incorruptible so those that have died on this side they're going to be raised up incorruptible spiritual beings right spiritual spiritual flesh right not carnal flesh that what gets sick it's acceptable to death we're going to be what incorrupt right and it says and we shall all be changed so the elect they're going to be changed all right they're going to be changing the twinkling of another eye, right even our minds are going to be changed as well all right so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption when this mortal shall have put on immortality when shall we be brought to pass saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory okay so death is going to be swallowed up death ain't going to have no dominion over the elect none right and this is what we're waiting for this is what we're laboring for the sickness is this flesh it's the flesh that weighs you down the scripture says the spirit is willing right but the flesh is weak right so the spirit wants to continue to go but something the flesh gets weak right the satan the spiritual demon satan is trying to wear brothers out but guess what we got to keep going right we got to keep going we got to keep pushing for your heart by showing you how a shy okay come on now and it says so when the corruptible shall put on incorruption and this mortal shall put on what immortality then shall be brought to pass right that saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory so death is going to be yes swallowed up in victory it's not going to have no dominion and what causes death right what's the cause of death sin when you go to the law in john one i think it's one and two it says for what what is sin sin is transgression of the law so when you break the law what does that bring forth death right so in the kingdom we're going to be perfect so we're not going to be sinning therefore you're going to live forever right but right now because we sin because we're susceptible to sin that's why we die but it's not going to be that way in the kingdom right we're going to be what perfected right completely i gotta keep saying that the sting of death is sin right and the strength of sin is the law how do you acknowledge what sin is 
you acknowledge what sin is by the law. Okay? And that's where the strength of what the law was through sin. And when you sin, what was the penalty? Death. And what would you need to offer through, through particular sins? It would have to be blood. And that's why you would need um, turtle doves, yes, pigeons and lambs, right? That's why you would need those things, right? Because the only way you'd be able to purge, be purged from that sin was through blood, right? It was through blood, but what men don't understand today, because you have men see you going off and say, well, your blood should be... Men, they're so carnal. This is why you've got to understand Yahweh Shai. You do know, what's the whole, if I ask you, what's the whole, um, why was Yahabashai on the scene? What was the whole purpose of Yahabashai? You should be able to answer that straight away. Most brothers should be able to answer that. Because if you, if you can't answer that, then why have you got a Bible? Because he died for what? The sins of Israel. Okay. Key thing. Because he died for the sins of Israel and for he died for your sins. This is the key thing. Right? He died for your sins. So we can be brought back and reconciled back to the Heavenly Father, right? So these are key things. And knowing this, what do we have? Immortality. These are key parts of the ministry. These are things we have to know, right? And it says, oh death, where is thy sting or grave? Where is thy victory? So death has no reign over what the elect, right? The elect live forever, right? The elect are with Yahweh Shai. Okay? And it says, But thanks be to the Most High, right? Which give us what? Victory for our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So we have the victory over this world. We have victory over death through Yahweh Shai. Right? And it says, Wherefore, beloved brethren, be ye steadfast. So we've got to be steadfast within this faith right unmovable so we also got to be unmovable in this faith steadfast what does that mean firm so you're supposed to be firm in your belief all right firm grounded all right always abounding in the work of the lord jehovah yahweh shai for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the lord jehovah shai right so this labor we're doing is not in vain, right? At all. And that's if you endure. And the scripture says, Blessed is he that endureth unto the end. Okay. Whew. I hope this is edifying. I really hope this is edifying. Brothers are going through so much different stuff, right? But guess what? It's all a test, right? And things are going to happen, but it's, it's, yeah, it's a test, right? I want to go to Wisdom of Solomon 2 as well. This is Wisdom of Solomon 2, and this is basically, now this is basically going to go into the mindset of the ungodly, right? Because you wake up to this truth, what's our whole duty? It's to serve Yahweh Abishai. Right? That's our main duty. Okay. Let's go to wisdom of son, but this basically goes into the mindset of the ungodly. How the ungodly perceive the men of the Lord, how the ungodly perceive this truth. Right? For the ungodly said reasoning within themselves, but not alright. Right? And I don't again what Esau's playing at is really, really, really low. But remember, that's why you gotta read Job, you gotta read the scriptures and see what was going on. Right? You gotta read. Blessed is he that readeth. Right? This world is against Yahweh Shai. Right? It's a very, very carnal world. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. Because you're not, you're not gonna, I wanna say this, you're not gonna intimidate the elect at all. That's one thing I tell you. Right? Wisdom of Solomon 2. Because Esau's done that. He's hired people, paid them off, paid them a bit of money. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, for the ungodly said reason within themselves, but not our right. Right? Our life is short and tedious. So this is how the ungodly, this is the basically this is a chapter on the mind of the ungodly and how they perceive life. Right? 
the ungodly reasoning with them themselves. So yes, the ungodly reason amongst themselves, right? The ungodly will hang with the ungodly. The righteous are going to be dwelling with the righteous. But not a right. A life is short and tedious. And in the death of man, okay, there is no remedy. Okay? Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. Right? So that's how the world thinks. Short, tedious. Tedious means tiresome, boring, <laughs> laborsome. Right? Neither was there any man known to have what returned from the grave. Right? But that's rubbish because guess who did? Yeah, have a shy. If you actually believe in the scriptures, so this is how the world perceives this truth. All right? And it says, For we are all born at adventure and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. All right? For the breath of our nostrils is as a smoke. Right? And a little spark in the moving of our hearts. So, partly right, partly right. You don't, we don't live that long. But why? Due to sin. We being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes, and our spirit shall what vanish into soft air. And this is spiritual because we are talking about what actually happens to you when what when you pass, right? So it's all coming together. Our body shall be turned into ashes, and that's why they say what. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, because your body is made up of what? Dust particles, right? And we come from what? The earth. And that's where you get that word, what? Humus from that dark soil of the ground, which our what? Body is made up Morning. of. Morning. That's what our body is made up of. The dark soil, right? Which is named humus, right? And our spirit shall what? Vanish into soft air. So that's what happens to your spirit. It goes back to the Heavenly Father and your flesh decays and it gets what et by maggots and worms and our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud but that's rubbish because guess what you have a everything's written down that's why the scripture says some shall what wake up to everlasting shame right and some to everlasting life and it scriptures also talk about there was a book of what remembrance of what those that live Right? And those that died. Right? And our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away and after our end it is no more, more returnings. This is how the world thinks. This is how the world perceives life. And that's why they got that um, YOLO. That YOLO spirit. Do what you do, do what makes you feel good. No, because there is consequences to what you do, right? And that's why repentance is so key. You can't just do what you want. So you may have been born into this world and just think everything's hunky. No, you can't just do that. And that's what you learn in this truth, right? Once you wake up to this truth, now we've got to walk in the ways of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, right? Come on, therefore, let us enjoy. Bear me just a minute, for after our end there is no returning, for it is past so so that no man cometh again. Come on therefore, and let us enjoy the good things that are present, right, that are now. And that's how the majority of the people live. They live for the now, right, and they don't think, right. And when you live for the now, the moment, what you're feeding the flesh, you're not thinking about tomorrow. You're not thinking about how that can affect you tomorrow. What you do today can affect you tomorrow. It's like you're eating, you're eating something. So, see, people, they eat the sweet food. It tastes good. But that sweet food may affect your stomach tomorrow. Right? And that's why the Lord, you have a shot, deals with what the bitter is. He can fall, eat the whole roll. Right? Come on, therefore, and let us enjoy the good things that are present. And let us speedily use the creatures like in what? As in youth. Right? Let us fill ourselves with costly wine, right? In other words, you know, just splashing, splashing your money on the most expensive wine and ointments, right? And it says, and let no flower of the spring pass, us, pass by us. So they just want to, they want to live that, like that all year round. They want to live like that all year round, right? Let us crown ourselves with rose buds, Okay before they be withered okay 
and crowning yourself with rose but that's a roman it's a roman custom right of celebration you just type in roman festivals what do you got you got them what rosebuds up on their heads okay let's just crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered right let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness right voluptuousness is joy pleasure right it's delight let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place right that's why you got people that write we was here 2019 having a good time celebration because they want to leave what tokens signs of what their joyfulness in every place right for this is our portion and our lot is this that's some people's lot portion but that's a horrible lot to have that's the, the lot of the ungodly the ungodly have nothing to live for unless they seek Yahweh Shah. I'm talking about I'm talking about the elect right and the other nations they're just ungodly by by nature but we have a law we have a way we have what Yahweh way Yahweh Shai right let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place for this is our portion and our lot is this so that's the majority of the world that's their lot eat sleep excuse my language shit have fun party eat sleep go to work have shit eat sleep go to work have shit go party friday that's their lot that's their lives but for us now that's not our lot our lot is to serve you how we shall enjoy it right this is our joy this is our comfort verse 10 let us oppress the poor righteous man so this is what's going on right now right and it's yeah, it's going to increase and the poor righteous man would be what the, the men that believe in the truth right Israelites, let us not spare the widow. Widow would be someone that has no one. Husband, husband is past, right? No reverence to ancient grey hairs of age. The people of ancient grey hairs, because scripture talk about grey hairs of wisdom, they're not really um respected in these days. People had a little bit more respect for the elderly, but now that's something that's what neglected. Right? We're not going to go on too long. We're going to try to go to forty minutes, and it's more, and it says. Um, bear me just a minute, bear me just a minute. Let us strength be the law of justice, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. So the justice would be Esau, and Esau doesn't really deal with justice, right? For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth, right? So the people of this world, they see us as feeble, right? Nah, he's nothing, you know? Therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous. So guess what? You're going to have those that are lying in wait. For if you're of the righteous, the elect, they're going to be lying in wait for you. Because he is not for our turn. So because we're not for this world's turn, guess what? You're going to make yourself what, an enemy to this world. And he is clean contrary to our doings. So the elect, yes, they're clean contrary to the doings of this world. He upbraided us with offending the law and objected to our infamy, the transgression of our education. Because what we're teaching... The Bible, when you actually read the Bible, it's against the ways of this world. And really, this is our education, right? This is what they should be teaching you in these systems. This is the actual education, right? But they're teaching you something else in these schools. This is what they should be teaching you, the Bible, right? He professes to have knowledge of the Most High and he called himself the child of the Lord. So this is how people look at us. Oh, what does he know? He thinks he's a child of the Lord. Well, the scripture says that. Right? He professes to have knowledge of what the Lord, Yahweh, Abba Shai. Right? And we do have that knowledge. And we're proclaiming that knowledge. And he calleth himself the child of the Lord. Just like Yahweh Shai did. Right? He was made to reprove our thoughts. Right? So you have an elect upon earth. Yes, they were made to reprove the thoughts of what? The world right it's not personal we don't wake up and think oh who am i going to get on today okay he's grievous to us <laughs> baby just a minute he is grievous us to us even even to behold right so when it says he is grievous, un grievous unto us even to behold this is why now you've woke you've, you've woken up to the truth you're not going to have too many people around you right you're not going to have too many people around you Okay, it says it's grievous even to behold. And that's why when you come around people, even your own family members, start sighing. 
start sighing, feeling uncomfortable, dropping stuff. Because now you have another spirit to you. Now the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh is upon you. You no longer have the spirit of the world upon you. You may have little, little tiny remnants, obviously, because guess what, we're not perfect here, right? But this is what happens, because you've been enlightened, okay? And it says, bear me just a minute. And this is a heavy, this is a heavy, 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 heavy chapter, really heavy, because it explains everything that the hopeful elect would be going through, right? He is grievous, even unto us to behold, grievous, irritating, vexating, vexating right? Somewhat repulsive for his life. His, his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. So you may not you may not even notice it yourself, which really you, you are supposed to notice it, but you may not even notice it. Our ways are of another fashion. Fashion goes into stammer, likeness, right? Um, image. And people see that. People see that. Right? You don't even need to be in front of their presence. You might even be living somewhere and there's a light like you may be living in a neighborhood and there's a particular light on your household and the rest of the households are full of darkness. People don't even need to see you. Right? We're going to shut off soon. Okay. And it says, his ways are of another fashion. Because it's Yahweh Shai, guess what? He's changed you and the scripture says in Romans, be changed by what? Be not conformed to this world, but be what transformed by the renewing of your mind. So with you having a renewing of mind, now people are like surprised that this ain't the same individual we knew. Well, of course not. Because the individual's changed. Wait, what, you expect me to be the same after three years? Two years? Huh? And it says, bear me just a minute. He pronounced if the end, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. That's why you have counterfeit men in this truth. And the counterfeits would be those that are in the world that have not made it them necessary steps. Right? He abstained from our ways. That's from what? Filthiness. Right? He pronounced of the end of the just to be blessed. And make of his foes that the most high is his father. Right? So he pronounced of the end of the just, which it is going to be blessed, the end of the just. Right? And make of his bow that the Mosai is his father. And was not Yahweh Shai doing that? Yes. Right? But he was doing it in humility. He was not boasting. Right? Let us see if his words be true. Let us prove what shall be, shall happen in the end of him. This is why brothers are being tested today. This is why brothers are going through these tests. Right? Let, he, let us see if his words be true. In other words, all right, he has the Bible. Let's do particular things to test, see if, if this is really the truth. So you may have, example, you may have individuals that may scoff, buck up against the Bible, may talk shit. Well, how would they know if it's true or not? The Lord could just jack their ass up, have them get in a car crash, right? Have something happening. And that's how, that's how you know. Because once you, you know, you have a shot, let you know. Right? Because even when you had um you had Romans, the centurions, when you have a shot pass, they even knew. Right? They even knew. Right? About Yahabashai. Okay, he was the Messiah. And these were Romans, these were Edomites. <laughs> okay. Let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. Okay. For if he, if the just man be the son of the Most High, he will help him. All right. Well, he has the Bible. He's he's, he's speaking a good talk. Well, let, let's do these things. Let's see if let's let's put him in this situation. Let's see if you have a shot to deliver him. He believes in God, right? This is why you have to be spiritual and always believe in your how why you have a shot, right? The people, most of the people of the world, they don't believe. So it's like, well, let's see if this Bible's really true, right? This life that we're living is a test, right? But if the just man be the son of, if he's a just man, he will help him, right? And deliver him from the hand of his enemies. That's why you have enemies. And that really is a test. And sometimes, you know what? Even some of our enemies, deep down, they're intrigued. <laughs> deep down, they're intrigued, right? Well, if, if this is the truth, let's do this, let's do that. Let's, let's put it to the test, right? 
let us examine him with despitefulness and torture. And these things are going on with particular brothers. We're being examined, yes, with